These charges are grave. I'm bringing the proof with me to Voss, Emissary. When you see it, the three will banish the Empire from the planet. I'm afraid Jedi Master Keln is mistaken, Emissary Samaro. No such evidence can possibly exist. I am confident that the three will find that an alliance with the Empire can only benefit your people. I await this evidence. Insufferable idiot. Ah, you've arrived. It's about time. No doubt you've heard some of that. Things aren't going smoothly for the Empire here. Voss must be brought into the Empire. Their obstinance was a problem before the Jedi began meddling. We sense a great power here, strong in the dark side. These people have powers of prophecy we have never seen before. The Empire must have this world and its secrets, and we know from experience that it cannot be taken by force. You're trying to woo the Voss into joining the Empire, then? It is a delicate balance. We fawn over the arrogant Voss publicly and undercut the Republic's negotiations privately. And now this Jedi Master appears and thinks he can sabotage all we've done. Does he have specific claims against us? He remains vague, which he may be using to smoke out our secrets. We must act without detection. A syndicate was hired to steal supplies from the city of Voskar. We then generously offered aid to the people in need. But the Syndicate was made up of Hauk, brutish idiots who turned from saboteurs into raiders. I'll make them disappear for you, my lord. Excellent. I knew you would not disappoint me. The Syndicate's lair is in a cave system. Silence these Hauk. Report to General Roche in Fort Codentha afterward. It is honored by your presence. Darth Seraphin mentioned you were coming. I heard what you did to the Hucks. I must admit I've wanted to exterminate those thugs for some time. Now perhaps we can strike at the Republic, albeit indirectly. Curse diplomats and their gains. You disagree with Darth Seraphin's strategy? I would simply prefer a more direct approach. We've detected Republic spy towers in our vicinity. If I sent men to destroy them, we would incur suspicion from the Voss. The Voss post nearby, however, appears to have come under attack. We can aid them and destroy the tires at the same time. Not a bad idea. The commander of the Voss post is Panthen Dro. Seek him out. Give him the Empire's full support. My lord, thank you for your aid. Our scouts reported the tires' destruction, and the Voss seemed none the wiser. The Republic must be squirming right now, wishing they could strike back at us. I'd relish the chance to engage the Republic directly. You're not alone. I'd much prefer to end all this skulking about. Wait, we have an incoming transmission. I am extremely pleased. The gullible Voss already talk of the heroic outsider who held back the Gorbak abominations. However, we've little time to savor this victory. An opportunity has presented itself. Trust me, I'll take care of it. There is a place the locals call the Nightmare Lands. It is an area steeped in the power of the Dark Side. A promising Sith named Durik Vesh led a group there to search for the source of the power. But Vesh was weaker than we thought. Dark energy overpowered his mind. He went mad and was captured by the Republic. What good is a madman to the Republic? They're almost certainly trying to pick his addled brains for information about us and the Nightmare Lands. Reports say Vesh is being moved, under guard, naturally, but out in the open. We need him dead. Seems highly convenient that the Republic is moving him now, just as we're trying to eliminate everything they have on us. I would not trust this task to anyone less skilled than yourself. A failure here could cost the Empire Voss. Vesh and his escort will be leaving the SIS camp shortly. They will pass through a canyon nearby, intercept them, and leave no witnesses. Plant this in the canyon before the convoy arrives. I wish you luck.
tell Darth Serevin that Durek Vesh is no longer a problem, General. Excellent, my lord. Your timing is perfect. We've heard that Jedi Master Kelm has just landed in Voskar. You can report the good news to Darth Serevin. He asked to speak with you as soon as you returned. We've missed something. Our spies report that Master Kelm has already left Voskar. He's headed into the ruined city. I took care of everything you told me about. Your work has been flawless. The intelligence operatives responsible for monitoring Master Kelm have been executed for this failure. The ruins were a city that the Voss abandoned in antiquity. We have archaeologists there, but nothing compromising. Nothing in that city should harm us, and yet that is where Master Kelm has gone to retrieve his evidence. This may be a trap, or it's a distraction from wherever his real evidence is hidden. We must be sure there's nothing in those ruins. This Jedi will not cost us an alliance now. If the Empire requires you go to the ruins, find Master Kelm and eliminate him and whatever evidence he has. I will craft a suitable excuse for his absence to the Voss. You've interfered enough in the Empire's plans, Jedi. This ends now. You must be Darth Serevin's puppet. All the scurrying you've done to cover the Empire's tracks was wasted. The crimes of the Sith are indelible. In ancient times, the Voss and Jedi joined forces against a common enemy, the Sith. How did you discover this? The writing on these stone tablets tells the tale. We're still translating it, but enough of the truth has surfaced already. It's over. Return to Darth Serevan. There's nothing you can do now. I didn't come to negotiate. Darth Serevan wants you dead, and your evidence to disappear. Hand the tablets! You've won. No more opposition. Seraphin will be pleased. The tablets. Spare them, please. Without me, they can't hurt you. If they're found and delivered to the Voss, it could cost me my life. Take them with you. <coughs> the Sith. Want to know what happened here? Find the source of the power in the Nightmare Lands. The answers may be here. And I would rather the truth collect dust in a Sith archive, then be destroyed. Darth Seraphin may find some use for them. Then they will endure. <laughs> Good enough. Go return to your master. Tell him what you've done. I've brought you something, my lord. Kelm said this writing would prove that the Sith and Jedi had been to Vos before. Interesting. Very interesting. I assumed Kelm's evidence would be recent. I'll send these to the Sith Archive for study. You have served the Empire well. I will personally make certain that nothing can be traced to you. What happens now that Kelm is out of the way? Master Kelm was the only one stupid enough to stand in our way. I think we will see some progress now. You should be proud. You've utterly crushed the Republic's hope of victory. They will not recover soon. I bring word. Emissary, I wasn't expecting you. Do come in. A mystic has had a vision concerning outsiders. One who has come seeking silence shall keep the Gormak from the stars and bring new wisdom to Voss. What wisdom? And what's this about the stars? Only interpreters can explain a vision. I may only say what I have been told. It is fortunate you came here, Emissary. I believe my associate here is the one described. Then I must report to the three. There is much to be done. This is far better than I had anticipated. 
The gullible fools follow their mystics without question. Their naivety can be made to serve us. Fulfill this vision and it will surely lead them to ally with the Empire. Consider it done. Excellent. We have much to do. Make a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Healing. It is a place these idiots revere greatly. All outsider pilgrims must have Fadeth Kai's permission to enter. Seek him out and get his approval. <gasps> you do not belong here, Honored One. You have earned your place in the Shrine. But the vision was clear. Another mystic has been chosen. You must leave. I'm an outsider. You should get your eyes checked. The vision has upset you. You are not well. Many have protested this decision. You are not the first. We cannot force you to leave, Honored One. You must decide for yourself. What do you want me to do? You are a mystic. Respond as one. Daryl Carr has had a vision. A voice will be brought to the shrine for healing. This person must survive. You are our best healer, yet you were not in the vision. Daryl Carr has seen another, lesser healer. He must take your place. Replace me then. I'm sure I can find other Voss to heal. Others object on your behalf. They must hear your words. Only the healer in the vision will succeed. Another could bring disaster. The vision asks you to step aside for another. You must follow it. Your choice doesn't make sense, but I can't argue with the vision. We do what we must. Forgive me, Honored One. I seek your guidance. I've had a vision. The things I saw were strange, troubling. I'm still in training. I need your help to discover the meaning of my vision. What exactly does this entail? I will tell you what I saw. You will tell me what it means. You are a full mystic. You have had many visions. You know what to look for. My vision could mean great changes. I must be certain of its meaning. Tell me what you saw. I'll know what it means. That is not a mystic's role. Time grows short, Honored One. We must decide. Part of your vision is clear. We must join the Republic or the Empire to survive. The interpreters have spent months debating. The outsiders grow restless. Do the interpreters usually take this long? Never with such an important vision. Interpreters are chosen by the mystics. You can replace them. The interpreters stress patience. Can we afford to wait? A decision like this can't be rushed. Signs reveal themselves when ready. A mystic must know his role. You understand. Go forward. Corruption lies ahead. Destroy the source. A mystic sees. You are blind. Your ignorance is a taint. It will be removed. A mystic must know his role. You understand. Go forward. Corruption lies ahead. Destroy the source. Our time is short. A mystic must heal us. What transpired here? To give life, you must take it first. I hope you plan to elaborate. Outsider, we are impressed. The trials are for the mystics, yet you survive. Does this mean the trials are over? One trial remains. 
Visions show our fortunes. Survival depends on a mystic's sight. A mystic protects the Voss. He must know our enemy. You mean the teched out natives? The Gormak? The Gormak will destroy us. A mystic must know how. But effective. I am Magrasu. All potentials must face me. The trials are dangerous. I meet more corpses than men. If the trials are worth dying for, I don't see why. A mystic must know his role. This is the first trial. Focus and meditation, the second. Healing and balance, the third. Only one with the mystic's understanding can defeat the Gormak. You have passed. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. The true honor comes now. The trials bring clarity. A mystic's power is awakened. You have learned to see. A vision will be granted. What exactly does this entail? You remain an outsider. Your thoughts are brief. Unfocused. Look upon the ancient tablets. The vision will come. Focus. Your vision will come. If we are to conquer our enemies, Zash's former apprentice must die. I asked for a vision, not another ghost. You focused and saw me. What do you fear, I wonder? The vision is over. You have seen what comes. There must be some way to change it. A mystic is never wrong. A mystic sees. The Voss respond. The trials have ended. Leave now. None of the Gormak we've encountered so far seem to be in charge. Where is their leader? Much further into the stronghold, the bulk of the Gormak Horde are in the passages ahead. They will rush to the defense of their king. We should eliminate Jokul's potential reinforcements. Many commandos would die in the cave-in, but so would the Gormak. That's just a touch chilly, isn't it? We will join you again when it is done. You will never reach the stars. The mystics have seen your failure. A Gormak dares to speak as if he has a mystic's knowledge. This is sacrilege. He says you're going to be crushed by rocks, and you're angry that he's predicting things. Visions are a sacred gift, given only to mystics. They are not given to beasts like him. Where did you get this power? How do you use it? The Dark Heart is an evil place. All who go near it are driven mad. No one returns from there.
What do outsiders have to do with the Dark Heart? Answer me. Why would it give you the power of prophecy and just set you free? I'll give you to the Voss. Your visions might be worth something to them. We will take him to Telson Fall and report Kotal Day's death. You should report to your people in Voska as well. Go with our gratitude. News of your victory preceded you. The entire city is talking of it. They say you took this so-called Gormak King captive. The fools are entirely convinced you are the agent of their prophecy. Well done indeed. Samaro said something about bringing new wisdom. Which could mean anything. It might even refer to Voss joining the Empire. It's nothing. Samaro has already asked for an audience with you. Emissary, the lady you wish to speak with has arrived. I wouldn't keep her waiting. The Gormak ship has been destroyed. They shall not reach the stars. You are the one from the vision. The three have heard the report of your battle with Chokul. They are troubled. Gormak are not mystics. They have no visions. This is the new wisdom the prophecy foretold. It lies in the Dark Heart. I think it is. The Dark Heart is an evil place deep within the Nightmare Lands. We are forbidden to go there. We do not know what it holds. You must return to us with this knowledge. I'll search the Dark Heart for answers. You have our gratitude. Well done. One final move, and Voss will be ours. It won't be simple. Even the most powerful Sith have not made it far into the Dark Heart. With so much riding on my success, I hope you have a plan. Dark Lord Murbeck Gen dwells on the edge of the Dark Heart, studying its power. He alone has managed to withstand the madness. Seek him in the Nightmare Lands. He must know a way for you to defend yourself from the Dark Power. Seraphin thinks he's so clever pretending to be interested in the secrets of the Dark Heart. He doesn't appreciate the genius of my work. How intricate the Dark Powers are. I do the important work on Voss. Who in the Emperor's name are you? You're a friendly one, aren't you? You should not be here. The dark power in this place will shatter your mind into a thousand pieces. It takes hours of meditation every day for me to keep my mind intact. Clearly, you could put those hours to better use. I will harness the power here, and with it I will bring the galaxy to its knees for the Emperor. Then I shall. Who are you? What do you want? You were telling me about the tomb in the Dark Heart. I... wait. I remember now. Yes. You can serve my research. I'll send you into the Dark Heart. Yes. I pulled this shard from the belly of the Dark Heart. Madness calls to it. There are two ways to defend your mind. Carry it with you while you carve a path of destruction through the denizens of the Nightmare Lands. This shard will stop the dark power from consuming my mind. No, of course not. The hatred and agony of your victims will charge the shard. Then you must channel the shard's power into a Varanticus. The Varanticus will become an embodiment of madness. Killing it will grant you mastery over that aspect of the Dark Power. What's the second method? There are shrines in the Nightmare Lands. 
Jedi in origin. There you could draw out and destroy the madness within the Shard. Not as elegant a solution, but it should work. So, will you slaughter beasts or seek the shrines? I'll take my chances with the Jedi ruins. Hmm. Possible. You should still yield some data, I suppose. Return to me when you're finished. I will make sure the protective ritual is complete. I'm done. I cleansed the shard at the shrines. You did? This throws all my calculations into disarray. Very well. Let me see the shard now. Good. Good. Entirely purged. I will record this test as successful. Then I'm finished here. So, you will venture into the Dark Heart? Serevin sends you out there, does he? Yes, I'm sure he did. Very well. You are an unusual specimen. I don't know what will result from this. The deepest secrets of the Dark Heart lie through the Grim Warrens. Whatever you seek, it is likely there. I didn't come this far to talk to an underling. Bring your master. I am in your debt. Selmacor still lives, but at last I am free of him. I have been a prisoner in the darkness so long. I must repay you for this. You have questions. My time grows short, but I will give you what answers I can. Who are you? I am a terrible fool. My name is Nemok Ta, and I once aided the Jedi in their war against the Sith. The creature you faced was an avatar of Selmacor, and I am one of those who brought his evil upon us all. How did you bring this about? With greed and arrogance. Long ago, the Sith came to our world. To them, we were beasts, unworthy of notice. But then the Jedi arrived, pursuing them. To the Jedi, we were tools, weapons to turn against the Sith. I'm dying of suspense. Really? There was only one people here, until the Jedi came. We asked for power. They agreed if we would fight their enemies. We were greedy, insisted on learning all the secrets of the Force, heedless of the consequences. The Force rituals changed us. Those who studied with them became Voss. Those who did not became Gormak. I honestly didn't realize. Even my own people have forgotten. You couldn't have known. Selmacor was born from the sundering of my people. He is the darkness that devours this world. He feeds on strife. And so long as my people fight each other, the nightmare lands will grow. Please, outsider, return to Vos Ka and tell my people that they threaten Vos with their fighting. Selmacor must be stopped. has a name. Sel Makor. I fought one of its servants who claimed to have given Jokal his visions. This is something the Voss should hear. They've been pestering me endlessly since you left. My associate has returned at last, just as your mystic said. She met the source of Jokal's power and defeated it. Thank you for defeating this creature, Outsider. We await the wisdom the mystic foretold. 
your learning will shape Voss's future among the stars. I'm sure you've discovered something you can tell the three. Something relevant to the Empire's negotiations, perhaps? The Voss and the Gormak were once the same race. And now something in the Dark Heart feeds on your conflict. Impossible! The Voss are not kin to those beasts! Calm yourself, Gunther Bear. Perhaps the Outsider speaks metaphorically. No interpretation of such a claim can be true. My associate only meant that all life on Voss is connected. This is why you must have Outsider allies to defeat the Dark Heart. I do not like this. I will carry your words to the Mystics. They will guide us. You accept that I'm telling you the truth? You gain nothing by telling us this tale. You have no reason to lie. You believe this? I believe the Mystics. The vision is fulfilled. We will speak again, Ambassador Saravan. The Mystics will consider what has been said here. Did the Dark Heart erode your wits? You've thrown away any hope of an alliance with Voss. And for what? I don't owe you any explanations. You've jeopardized our entire position on this planet. Don't think you've heard the end of this. Make yourself an obstacle if you want, Saravin. You won't be the first Sith Lord I've crushed underfoot.